Shawn Mendes confirms collaboration with BTS. Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson get new matching tattoos. And Khloe Kardashian returns to LA with Tristan Thompson. All that and more on this week's CHR Recap. Welcome back to this week's weekly recap of the biggest DHR stories of the week. Okay. Um, this week we found out that Demi Lovato relapsed and she announced this on a brand new song called Sober. So good, literally obsessed with the song. But first, speaking of music, we have to talk about Beyonce, Jay-Z, dropping a surprise album that we were not ready for. So over the weekend, Beyonce and Jay-Z broke the internet when they dropped their surprise collaborative album, Everything Is Love. Now, if you haven't had a chance to listen to it yet, the album was released exclusively on Tidal this past Saturday, but now it has been released on all streaming services, and it includes nine songs. And along with the album, the couple released an awe-inspiring visual, which was filmed in the Louvre to go along with their song, Eight. Now, of course, it didn't take long for hashtag everything is love to become one of the top trends on Twitter. One person wrote, quote, you take one single solitary midday nap and Beyonce drops an album, which I think that we can all agree with. Another fan hilariously wrote, quote, the Louvre is officially called the, the Louvre now because of Beyonce. That's the rules. With another person adding, quote, Beyonce just beyonce us again. Hello, so true. Now, some fans even canceled their plans solely to listen to the new release. One person wrote, quote, Hi, if we had plans this weekend, they're canceled. I'm listening to new Beyonce music. And other fans clearly agreed, writing, quote, I love when Beyonce drops new music because that means I can cancel all my plans. I remember when I found this out, it was in our group chat. Mm -hmm. I forget who told us. Sinead I think told Sinead us. told us that Beyonce and Jay-Z released a new album and we all weren't expecting it. No, whatsoever. we weren't expecting it at all. But also what we were not expecting is Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson getting another set of matching tattoos. And Aaron told us all about that. <laughs> As you all know, Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson are reportedly moving in together, and Ariana took to her Instagram story to document the two furniture shopping with some friends of theirs. Ari captioned the video saying, adults, over Pete lifting his shirt up to show off his abs. And on the same day, they went furniture shopping, and they both got new tattoos. Ari has a new tattoo that reads H2GKMO, which fans believe stands for Honest to God Knock Me Out, because Ariana has been thinking about getting the tattoo for a while, and when she tweeted, I say honest to God, knock me out 300 times a day. Pete's new tattoo says, reborn. Tattoo artist John Mesa shared a photo of Pete's new tattoo, and according to him, it was inspired by Kid Cudi and Kanye's new song called Reborn off of their collab album called Kid See Ghosts. Okay, for real, Emil, do you think this is like gonna keep happening? Like how many matching tattoos is too many matching tattoos? Okay, so I think too many matching tattoos is, um, once you get one, it's too many. Okay, so just don't get any. Yeah. <laughs> well, moving on to our next bit of news. Uh, Tristan and Chloe returned back home to LA this week, and Viv has the scoop. That's right, Chloe returned to LA with baby True and surprisingly with also Tristan Thompson. A day after Chloe and Tristan returned back home with baby daughter True, the couple was spotted getting their McDonald's drive through in a Rolls Royce, of course. The pair look relaxed and happy, and according to sources, that's how things have been between the couple lately. One source told people, quote, Chloe and Tristan seem to be in the best place they've been since the scandal, adding Chloe's super family focus and wants to keep her family together. The focus is on their newborn daughter. Tristan's been supportive and helping out when he can. As for how Chloe's family feels about her staying with Tristan after his cheating scandal, another insider revealed saying, quote, Chloe doesn't seem too concerned how they feel about Tristan. She still thinks she's making the best choice for her and true. She doesn't need her family's approval and will keep doing her thing. Well, whether she has a whole family's approval or not, one thing is for sure, Kim is thrilled to have her sister back in LA. During the launch of her KKW pop-up shop at the Westfield Century City Mall, Kim gushed saying, it's very good to have Chloe back. They came in town on Sunday and the whole family, we spaced it out so she wouldn't be too overwhelmed. She said of the family visits to Chloe and True saying, Quote, first it was Courtney and all of her kids, then me and all of my kids, then my mom, then Kylie. It was just like everyone was just coming over to see the baby and wanting to introduce my kids to their new little cousin. So it was really good to see her and have her back. Honestly, I couldn't imagine having to fake like my sister's boyfriend after a cheating scandal like that. Yeah, I definitely couldn't imagine faking that. But at least she's back home with the family and, you know, wishing them the best of luck. But... In other news, Shawn Mendes, who you know, I love, and BTS, who you know, I love, <laughs> 
Sean confirmed they're collaborating and Nas brought us that story. So this is not a drill. Sean Mendes has officially confirmed his collab with BTS and I cannot deal. Sean Mendes was in Toronto doing an interview with KISS 92.5 and he finally gave an update on his possible collab with BTS. When he was talking to the radio station, he revealed exactly what's going on with the collab and if he has any lyrics yet. And this is what he had to say. They're hard, they're hard group to get with. You know, mm -hmm. they're busy people. Um, I have no lyrics on their collaboration yet, but, but it's it, happening. It, it, it'll happen. Well, you guys, you heard it straight from Sean's mouth. The collab is coming. And this isn't the first time that Sean has talked about a collaboration with BTS, but this is the confirmation we needed that it's actually coming. In an older interview, Sean talked about the boys saying that they're probably the most beautiful guys I've ever seen. Truly, I didn't know humans existed this beautiful. Okay, that is seriously going to be an epic collab. Can't wait. I seriously can't wait. But uh, moving on to a little bit of emotional news. So as we teased earlier, Demi Lovato just released a brand new song this week called Sober and in it, she talks about relapsing. Yeah, I'm still a little bit in shock that she went there, but I'm kind of glad and Sinead brought us that story. In the new track entitled Sober, Demi admits that she broke her sobriety. Now it was just this past March that Demi celebrated six years free from drugs and alcohol. The song comes accompanied by just a simple yet very emotional lyric video. However, it does start with a video montage with several flashbacks to her parting days. The series of clips also shows Demi's mother and father, other friends and loved ones, and even a super sweet video of her and her ex-boyfriend, Wilmer Valderrama. She also posted that same montage on her Instagram along with the caption, quote, My truth, sober out now. The song then starts with Demi singing, quote, I've got no excuses for all of these goodbyes. Call me when it's over, because I'm dying inside. Other lyrics include, Mama, I'm so sorry I'm not sober anymore, and Daddy, please forgive me for the drinks spilled on the floor. And I'm sorry for the fans I lost who watched me fall again. I want to be a role model, but I'm only human. It was this past April that Demi clapped back at a fan who accused her of photoshopping a picture of her holding a drink in her hand that some believed it was alcohol, but Demi did actually deny those accusations. And we don't actually know if this new song, Sober, is reflective of her recent relapse or if Demi is recalling a past setback. I guess that remains to be seen, but regardless, Demi is one strong woman, and she ends the song recognizing her mistake and taking full responsibility, singing, quote, I'm sorry that I'm here again. I promise I'll get help. It wasn't my intention, I'm sorry to myself. It was so brave of her and I just love how honest she was. Yeah, I completely agree. But you guys, moving on to our final story. So Justin Bieber was caught out wearing a wedding band and we had the scoop why. Actually, you had the scoop I why. sure did, I brought all the tea. <laughs> so Justin Bieber spotted out with Haley Baldwin wearing a wedding band. Now before we get into the truth behind the wedding band, let's back up a little bit. So the other day, Justin and Haley were spotted out taking a cute little walk together in West Village in New York City. And at some point during this stroll, a man asked for a selfie with the Biebs. In the photo they took together, Justin is clearly seen wearing a ring on his wedding band finger. So that man then tweeted out the photo and captioned it, did Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin get married? I cannot be the only one that notices that Justin never wears jewelry and he's got a ring on his left ring finger. Naturally, this post made fans absolutely lose their mind. Many fans began speculating that Justin must have had a wedding ceremony with Haley that none of us knew about. But thankfully, you guys, it's apparently not the case. Turns out this was all a big prank. Sources close to Justin revealed to TMZ that Justin actually just wanted to play a prank on paparazzi by putting on a fake wedding ring. Well, he definitely got all of us because sources reveal his plan was to sit back and watch the internet lose their mind. Okay, I feel a little bit more relieved now. A little knowing bit. It was a prank. My heart can be taped back together. Yes. Jelena is still possible, maybe. But you guys, moving on to our favorite part of the show. You may think we don't read your comments, but uh, we do. We do. We so we're going to go through our faves. Uh, mine comes from... Super califragilistic, this be such a dope kid, great name, uh, who is talking about all these Pete and Ariana stories from this week, and they say, the only reason I'm like annoyed and kind of pissed about the Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande thing is that he's my favorite comedian. I have such a big crush on him, hence my username. It seemed like they both just broke up with their significant others. Then they got together so quickly. With the most recent news of them being engaged, and I was just like, WTF, how? I supported Pete's last relationship because it was really cute. I also thought her last name is David, and if they got married, she would only have to add son to the mm -hmm. end of her last name. Cute. 
I found out about Pete being single and was sad, but also like, yeah, he's single. Then I refreshed the page and he was with Ariana. FML. Uh, we completely feel you because I remember when the first rumor came out that they were even dating. Yeah. And then we blinked and they were engaged. No, they literally went from zero to hero. Who says that? Me. <laughs> okay, but my comment is about, I mean, it's probably going to come as a surprise to you, Shawn Mendes and BTS. What? Um, <laughs> so, Golden Sugar Cookie, love your name, um, said BTS ARMY plus Mendez ARMY equals the ultimate ARMY, uh, yes, duh. And then they also said BTS and Sean collab will top the charts. I can't wait. I can't wait either. Literally, I remember, um, cause for Billboard Awards, mm -hmm. you're allowed to vote for your top social artist. Yeah. And I tweeted like around that time, I was saying, I don't know what to do because I love Sean Mendes and I love BTS, so how can I vote for both of but them? But Sean is your boyfriend. Uh, no, my boyfriend <laughs> is actually not Sean Mendes, <laughs> but you know, dreams. That's gonna be the next room patrol, can I be a, honest? A dream <laughs> is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. Oh my gosh, I can't with you. But anyways, you guys, that wraps up this week's recap. Yes. So we wanna hear from you. What was the most shocking story of the week? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Yes, and also please, 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 if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to follow us on our socials. You can find me on the gram at Emil Ennis Jr. And you can find me on on the gram as well at Renee Ariel. All right, guys, Bye. till next time. And then click right over here for Kendall Jenner having a really, really awkward run in with a hater. I was just making funny faces over here, but <laughs> while you're not looking at me, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Right, right here. There. Right there. Right there. And now just keep making Somewhere faces. Somewhere here. Just. I probably look crazy. You probably just do. Subscribe. I probably do too. <laughs>